The Supreme Court of Canada says women working in the sex trade are made unsafe by this country's prostitution laws. So today it struck them down and gave Ottawa one year to write better ones, if it wants to. But the emotional reactions from all sides of this polarizing issue make it clear just how difficult a job that could be. The CBC's Ron Charles has the details. Ron. Wendy, in their ruling, the justices note that prostitution itself is not illegal in Canada, but the laws meant to discourage that trade endangered lives. The three laws made it illegal for prostitutes to communicate with clients in public, do business in private buildings, and for anyone else to live off their profits. The court ruled those laws put prostitutes in harm's way by prohibiting them from paying for security, working in brothels, or screening clients on the streets. In writing the unanimous decision, Chief Justice Beverly McLaughlin pointedly raised the case of the B.C. serial killer who preyed on vulnerable street prostitutes. If screening could have prevented one woman from jumping into Robert Picton's car, the severity of the harmful effect is established. I am one of the plaintiffs in this case, and I would like to thank the Supreme Court of Canada for declaring sex workers to be persons today. But groups that fight human trafficking and child prostitution called the ruling a step backwards. And it's a sad day that we've now had confirmed that it's okay to buy and sell women and girls in this country. I think generations to come, our daughters, their granddaughters and on, will look back and say, what were they thinking at that time? The court suspended its ruling for one year to give the government time to figure out how to deal with it. In a statement, Justice Minister Peter McKay said the government will look at ways to ensure the criminal law continues to address the significant harms that flow from prostitution. Some interveners in the case are already making suggestions. The focus needs to be on the men, it needs to be on the clients, it needs to be on the pimps and the profiteers. And really that's where our legislative policy has to go. Others say there's no need for any new laws at all. The harms that this judgment identifies will be seen over and over again if we enact new laws that criminalize sex work. Today's decision doesn't have any effect on Canada's laws against human trafficking, child exploitation and pimping. Those laws are all still in force. Wendy? Thanks so much, Ron. Ron Charles. As Ottawa considers what to do now, it could look to Europe for guidance. Two approaches there show how diverse Canada's legislative response could be and how complicated. Germany legalized the prostitution industry in 2002. Workers pay taxes and get social insurance. But the UN says the country has become a common destination for human trafficking. Contrast that to Sweden's 1999 law making it a crime to pay for sex. That approach targets men. Still, critics say it's made life riskier for women by driving the trade underground.